here from fitness advice or free workouts online or even some nutrition suggestions, including myself, is completely wrong. It's not BS, it's just completely wrong. And if you keep listening to this advice and think that this is your key to getting an amazing body, you're going to stay overweight or you're going to stay very stuck. It's just math. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you exactly what you need to know and what to do about it. Okay, usually I start off my videos with something along the lines of like smash the like button and subscribe if you have not done that already. But today, I am going to get straight to the point because this is something very important. Look, the point that you need to understand is that every fitness guru, every nutrition book, every piece of health and fitness advice or education that you can possibly come across is wrong. Until you address the reason why 95% of people fail at getting in shape, why there's so much available for us to get and stay in shape, anywhere from free workout videos online, healthy recipes, nutrition advice, different cookbooks, so many gyms that are open, right? Different chains, different body shaping products. And I'm not even talking about like different pieces of equipment that you can use in order to boost your workout protocol. Why is with like such an abundance of information and different tools and resources that you have available to you all over the place, people still are struggling with getting in shape and staying in shape. That's what's the most important thing. Like a lot of them have a hard time getting in shape in the first place, but then once they are there, they have a even like worst time staying in shape, like maintaining their results. What's wrong? Like, why is it? That's what we're gonna cover in this video and I'm very excited because I'm super pumped with sharing this information with you because it's going to be super motivating and hopefully informative. Informative and motivating. Because this is something that you really need to know and you really need to understand in order to move forward and get unstuck if that's where you're at. It's gonna take me a few minutes to explain my point, so by all means, if you don't have a few minutes to stick with me and listen to what I have to say, this is probably the reason why you cannot get in shape. So you might wanna carve out 10 to 15 minutes and really pay attention to what I have to say because it is something that is really important and is the number one reason why 95% of people fail. Of this and not only this but like other things too like it really it can be applied to any other area of your life like if you are unsuccessful with your business or your job sucks and you hate it or if you're procrastinating and cannot get things done or if you are doing all these like workouts strenuous exercising programs and you are not seeing results this might answer that question for you so let's figure out why 95% of people fail at getting in shape. Why they fail at trying to control their body and not having their body control them. What's wrong with that? What went wrong there? Is it because it's hard? Well, I mean, if you look at workouts, if you really take a look at different workout programs, they are designed to be as simple as possible for you to follow. Like they don't take a long time to complete. They I don't know, the exercises are not even that hard. It's all about efficiency and it's all about some other things that I'm gonna get into. I don't wanna like jump too soon. But the exercises in and of itself are not hard at all. And I know if somebody's out there who hasn't like worked out in years, for them it's going to be a little challenging to get into a new um, exercise regimen. But the thing is, that should be good pain. You should feel good about making progress. If you feel soreness after a workout, that's good, that's a good sign. So we covered that, I hope you get my point. Then, hard in terms of like nutrition. Well, again, no, there are tons of cookbooks available. You can, I don't know, if you cannot cook, you can take a, a culinary class, I don't know, something, or experiment, play around. There are, I don't know, millions of like, simple recipes out there that you can, you know, pick ideas from. If you look at it as hard, it's going to be hard. If you see it as easy peasy, like no problem, that's how it's going to be. Like your, I mean, your focus, your perspective is what is going to determine 
your result and how it's going to unfold for you. Like for example, every single time I notice how if I tell myself, if I catch myself thinking, oh, I don't have time for something, I end up not having time. So immediately when I catch myself thinking that, I'm like, mm, no, I do have time. And I say, okay, I do have time. I have plenty of time. In fact, I have more time than I think I do for getting whatever done. And here's what happens. That's exactly what I get. I find the time immediately and I get things done with ease and flow and all that stuff because of the way I perceive it, the way I look at it. Plain and simple. Is it methods? Well, again, I mean, we touched upon the exercises and stuff like that. You can find, I mean, there are dance workouts. If exercising is boring to you, there are dance workouts. There are, there's yoga, there's Pilates, there is different um, classes like Zumba and spin class. You can, you know, join your local gym and take a look at what they have there. There are so many different ways for you to get exercise in. It's crazy. And if you don't see it available, you just don't want to work on your body. You don't want to, you should look at the workouts and exercising as pampering your body instead of looking at it as a painful experience. So if you are looking at it from the angle of, oh my gosh, it's like, ugh, like really, like do I really have to freaking exercise? Like, you know, you have to turn it around and see it as something that is pleasurable, something that you enjoy doing, something that is beneficial for you and something that your body loves, craves and needs. Or maybe it's genetics. Well, again, people with like really good genetics, if they don't do what is right, if you don't do all the right things in order for their body to be in shape and toned and healthy, if they, you know, start eating McDonald's every day or I don't know, just like sit on the couch all day and not doing anything, just watch TV and eat potato chips, their body is going to get out of shape. It's just how it works. It's, you know, the law of thermodynamics. I'm sorry. Like, it's, that's why you see lean people work out every day or maybe not every day, but whatever, like they exercise and they pay attention to what they eat. They have healthy habits in place because of the same reason, you know, that's how you maintain great results. You have to have it as a part of your lifestyle because it's just how it goes. There is no way going around it. So everything really comes down to two things. It's focus and discipline. And let's just take a look at the workout session that I do compared to a normal person's workout session, like a person who's trying to get in shape and compare them and see why am I able to get in shape easy and stay lean all year round and why they sometimes they even do a lot more than what's needed and it just backfires and they end up either like not getting any results at all or they get like an, the opposite effect what happens there and just for the record my workouts are nothing crazy they are not strenuous at all i don't come out covered in sweat it's just yeah like it's just, that just doesn't happen but there's some things that i do differently from like a normal person that yields me my ideal desired results and they are not able to achieve any of that or worse. Okay, so my workout sessions are usually anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour. And during that time, I'm not on Facebook, I'm not on Instagram, I'm not trying to take pictures in, you know, like selfies in the mirror, I'm not talking to friends, I'm not, I don't know, I'm not distracted. Like there is zero distractions. It's just non-existent. I put my cell phone on the airplane mode and the only thing I use it for is the timer. If I do some time challenges, that's it. That is it. Nobody can call me. No, if somebody texts me, I do not reply. They will have to wait until I'm done with my workout in order for me to get back to them. I don't check my emails. That's it. Zero distractions. My brain is optimized. I do cleanses all the time, detoxes, all that stuff. I optimize the hell out of my sleep. You know how sleep is important. I talk about it a lot on my channel and I emphasize a lot about this because it's literally like, you know, the key, it's like the engine to your car. If your sleep is forget about, you know, having a good life. 
I know it's kind of dramatic, but honestly, your productivity will suck, your diet will be off, and everything else will just fall apart if your sleep is not intact and if it's not optimized properly. You'll just experience brain fog and you'll be useless. I mean, you'll be useless as a human being. And it's not something that I made up, it's actually a fact. Scientists and studies have shown all of this across the board. So I know it's like a hard pill to swallow, but sleep is essential. First of all, my workouts are also structured, like there is a warm-up, you know, I dedicate 10, 10 minutes to warm up my muscles, then I have, you know, the block for my workout routine, and then I have the cool down, also dedicate 10 minutes to cool off. A lot of the times what I see with normal people that are trying to get in shape and follow those online, free online workout videos that are, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes long. What happens there is a lot of the times they don't do the warm up because the video doesn't really include warm ups usually. Then they do the workout. Maybe they do the right t using the right technique, maybe they don't. Maybe they follow proper form, maybe they don't. But the cool down is not there most of the time. They just want to get in and get out quick, which is great. It's a great mentality. But unfortunately, if you're trying to do it by yourself, and especially with the mindset that you don't really want to invest much into it and you know yet you want to get maximum results out of it it's just gonna be like it's gonna throw you off every single time because warm-ups and cool downs are important and are there to prevent your muscles from injury and if you don't do them if you neglect these two parts i mean yes maybe you did complete the workout successfully but other parts are not there so you will feel sore the next day maybe like for the next few days after that you will hate your life and if you don't even also if you don't optimize your nutrition after the workouts it's gonna have an effect on it too which means you know an effect of like no effects of like no results or like very little results so there are a lot of different factors that come into play here that a lot of the people that are newbies or beginners are not paying attention to and are not taking into account. So if your workout is 15 minutes long and you forget about all those other very important components, on top of that, you're not focused, you have Instagram open, Facebook open, friend can call you or like you get a text and you like get distracted and then you pause the video for example like if you're following some like online stuff if you like at the gym i see a lot of people instead of working out they're by the windows like taking selfies i mean hey like you can do all of that like and more after you are done with your session but if you're doing it instead of your session that's not a workout i'm sorry so they're constantly distracted they're diet nutrition is off like you know i see constantly like if they finish like an hour long cardio session they go and get like a 600 calorie drink from starbucks like full of sugar and it's just what and then they wonder why they cannot get in shape like this is why you know like and also during that that time like they're not focused they probably like don't pay attention to form they're struggling through the entire workout they're puffing and huffing, I don't know, but it just, do you see how ineffective that is? If your sleep sucks, if you are constantly suffering from brain fog, and you're not even, of course, like, if you have all of those things, you, how are you, how in the world are you going to complete a successful workout? Especially if that workout is not even complete. So maybe out of that 10-15 minute online video, they will get like, I don't know, maybe like a solid three minutes of actually like working the muscles and stuff like that. Maybe at that three to five minutes, compared to me when I work out for 45 minutes, so 10 minutes my warm up, 10 minutes my cool down. So it's like 25 minutes of solid workout time where I'm laser focused and like I'm only paying attention and only doing what's important, which is working out certain body groups, uh, certain muscle groups, paying attention to my body, the breath, all that other stuff. Like I am like a Jedi, you know? <laughs> Constantly looking at my form and trying to get the max effect possible out of the time that I have 
going on because like the way I look into it the way I with the mindset that I go into working out is it's like my date with myself it's like a date with myself that I do and this time is very sacred and that's why I want to make sure that there's no distraction possible during that time period other people they don't care they just want to like rush r rush through it and like complete it and move on to something else that they want to do like they don't take the time to be present and focus and be disciplined about it look there are two things that usually determine how successful somebody will be at something and it, it doesn't always have to be applied to fitness it can be applied to anything else in life it's how long you can focus on something for and how long you can uh, delay the satisfaction there was a study done with little kids where they looked at two groups of kids and the uh, children that could focus on something the longest and delay gratification the longest ended up being a lot more successful in life compared to those that couldn't focus and wanted to see basically instant gratification that's why I preach so much on my channel that you know focus and discipline zone out no distractions and reward yourself along the way and celebrate little wins because that is ultimately what's gonna get you in shape and beyond that's why you need to stop cherry picking information and pick something and just do it because the way you're going to make progress is through focus if you're not focused you are not going to do a good work you might think that you're doing good work but you're not doing the move the needle work and when your brain is not functioning properly, you have bad health, you have bad sleep, your gut is all screwed up, you're constantly inflamed, your face is all puffy, you're probably drunk and it takes you 15 cups of coffee to like get you going in the morning, constantly have brain fog, that's not good. That's why no advice will help you and this is the biggest paradox with fitness because everybody is browsing online trying to find the best workouts, the best workout regimen protocol, the best exercise, maybe like the best recipe or the best diet to follow. But the thing is, if you're only putting in three to five minutes into it a day and the rest of the time is just wasted, if your brain is not functioning properly, you're constantly like experiencing brain fog, you can't focus, you are not disciplined, you're constantly procrastinating and you are not enjoying your workouts and you're not like enjoying the whole process of even like eating well and paying attention to your body. Like even like on my channel, a lot of the times like I show like other methods of how you can, you know, basically influence your body to slim down without exercise and what i noticed is that like based off of like just purely the comment section is that people are afraid to touch their own bodies like seriously like what else can we talk about i mean what else is there to talk about like if you are uncomfortable with touching your own body so if you hate your body if your brain is not working properly it doesn't matter, you can use the best tactic, do the best exercise, follow the best possible diet. It still won't work and you still won't get results guaranteed. Look guys, everything works. Those workout programs work. Diets work. Nutrition stuff works. While everyone out there is trying to run around and find the best workout, the best exercise, the best recipe, the best nutrition, whatever, and try to see who has the best tips, best strategies, you're just completely missing the picture. Look, you are smarter than 95% of people. You have a lot more going for you than 95% of people do. And you probably have more resources than me to get in good shape. If you obtain focus and discipline mixed with a little energy and happiness, you put all that together and it's going to be extremely easy for you to get in shape and stay that way for a long time. Because you're just going to be effective at exactly what you do and all of the right moves are going to be correct moves. I'm not, I'm not just talking about exercise, I'm also talking about moves in terms of the diet, choices, and you know otherwise. But what a lot of people are doing three minutes of actual working out they're constantly distracted they are doing the wrong things instead of doing what actually matters they don't pay attention to their health they don't pay attention to their sleeping habits their sleeping cycles their sleep quality they don't care about their brain they don't care about any of that other stuff and then they wonder why they cannot get in shape 
why they seemingly do all the right things and they still can't see inches move or disappear and they don't see the number on the scale drop. So instead of doing all the busy work, that the work that is not getting you anywhere, try to figure out what is stopping you. Delete Instagram, delete Facebook, delete Twitter, you don't need all that. Stop watching the news, stop watching TV. Then brain, optimize your brain, learn how to sleep. If you don't sleep properly, it's probably coming from your gut. If you're constantly foggy and feeling like crap, you probably need a detox. Like I'm not gonna get into all the like crazy stuff that might be going on in your gut, but like, that's a lot of the reasons why people you know are suffering from brain fog because their gut is not clear if you eat mcdonald's every day that's why you know if you don't know your sleep chronotype i made a video about that i'm gonna link it in the end make sure to check it out it's gonna really help you with optimizing your sleep and wake hours really important look you know your health needs to be good you know you need to be focused, you know you need to be disciplined, and you know that your metabolism is not like it was at 15 years old. And you know that you are massively distracted. You know all that, but you just don't do anything about it. You're trying to get in shape despite these things. And it's ridiculous to me because if you look at any professional athlete or a model or a uh, fitness guru, like, you know, they're probably like the most common ones that you see online. And if you look at these people that are killing it, they're winning. And you think that they're winning because of some special crazy advantage, maybe genetics, or they know something that you don't know, or they do something that you don't do, that, you know, they're holding some kind of like a special secret, special recipe, they're following a special diet that they're not sharing with you. But when you look at them, they don't have shit like distractions and they're super laser focused at what they do. Whatever that is, whatever that task is. If it's a workout, you know, they have time dedicated for a workout and it's a properly structured one. All they do is just, they just stick to it and follow it. And they're disciplined to show up for the session, do the work, and that's that. If it's diet, they, you know, know what you know they stick to like a nutrition protocol they know exactly how much you know carbs fats and proteins that they need to take everything is calculated and they stick to it they're super productive like during the day their sleep is good their brain is optimized they are disciplined and focused people that are killing it are 100 percent optimized for success and there's you. You're probably, I don't know, like 17% optimized with all that stuff going on. So how do you expect showing up and, you know, getting the same exact results or even like anywhere like closer to that? How do you expect to get any results at all with only 17% optimization? Fix this and then all of a sudden every single tactic will become easy to apply and understand and it'll be super straightforward. And of course, there are so many things that go into having a great looking body but if you fix this thing right here, you will have 98 to 99% of it solved. So do it.